One Piece. The series centers on a young man named Monkey D. Luffy who dreams of becoming King of the Pirates. He says on a journey to the Grand Line in search of a mythical treasure left behind by Gold Roger, the treasure known as One Piece. One Piece has become a staple on social media, from its manga, anime, games, films, and now card games. So if you're a beginner and want to know how to play, then you're in the right place. My name is Aburo Komas, and for today, I'll be representing Nowhere Toys and teaching you how to play One Piece. To start, let's begin with forming our decks. Your cards will consist of your favorite characters and events from the series. You have your leader card, 50 character cards, and 10 Don cards. Once you have your cards ready, you will place them in your area. Now we can begin the game. But first, let's start with who goes first with a short game of Rock, Paper, Scissors. Whoever loses has to chop off his own hand. IT'S THE MOST TERRIFYING IDEA I'VE EVER HEARD! <laughs> yeah, okay, now in all seriousness, first what you need is draw 5 cards from your deck. Then take a number of cards from the top of your deck equal to the life value written on your leader card. And without looking at them, place them face down in the life area. They're basically your leader's HP along with your opponent. Destroy them all and you win. Or if the opposite happens, then you lose. In the game, you have five phases. There's Refresh, Draw, Dawn, Main, and End phases. In your Refresh phase, you had to set your rested cards to activate. If you're upright, they're active, and if sideways, they're rested. You also need to return any Dawn cards you have given to the other card. We'll cover this later. In your Draw phase, you can draw one card from the top of your deck. However, if the player goes first, they need to skip this. In Dawn phase, you'll be able to increase your Dawn cards. The more you have, the more powerful cards you can play. In each turn, you'll gain two Dawn cards, but for the player that goes first, only gets one. In the main phase, this is where you'll be able to do a lot of things, mainly use your cards and attack. You can't place them more than five cards in your area. In your end phase, you simply just end your turn. Now let's begin with your turn. Now to play your card from your hand, you will need to use Dawn cards to pay its cost. In the upper left corner of your card, it has a number on it. It's your card's cost. To pay a card's cost, you will have to rest your Dawn cards. If nothing else, you end your turn and your opponent starts. <laughs> Since there's nothing for them to do on the refresh phase, your opponent goes to the draw phase. Afterwards, in their Dawn phase, they'll draw two Dawn cards and set them. They rest them and now summon a level 2 character card. End of turn. With each player's character card now in the field, they'll be able to attack. To attack, you had to rest your leader or character card and declare which card you will attack. You can attack their leader or rest of cards. Now, if you notice on the top right corner of your card, it has a number. It's their power level. Stop asking that! No one cares anymore! Mine's pretty big. If their power level is the same or higher, you win the battle. If a leader attacks and loses the battle, they'll take damage to their life, which means they choose one life card from their life area and add it to their hand. Now, just a reminder, neither pleader can attack on their first turn, and their characters also can attack on the turn it's played. Now back to Dawn cards, you can activate them to your leader or character cards during your main phase. For every Dawn you use on your cards, you'll get a power up of 1000 during your turn. Also keep in mind that the same characters have effects when activating a Dawn card. Once a character card is defeated, they'll be placed in the trash area. For some character cards you have, they have their own unique abilities. Like block for example, if a character card attacks a leader card, then the block effect is activated, making the character card attack them instead. Then there's trigger. If you take damage and your card has a trigger effect, you can use it without paying anything. For counter, if a card is lower than the other and is about to be attacked, you can activate your counter effect. By trashing your character card with the counter, you'll be able to increase your character card's power level. 
or if you have an event card that has a counter, you can also increase it too. And lastly, Rush. If a character card has the Rush effect, they can attack on the first chance it gets. And that's how you play One Piece. I hope you learned something from this and that you'll be able to play with your friends. If there's any questions you have, we'll be able to answer your questions. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you guys next time.